so guys uh this is a video on how you can how to use a meta trade uh, five so first of all like i said before before you can use meta trade five you will need a broker so that you can log in in detail before start, you start using meta trade five so when you enter meta trade five hmm, it will not open like this it will not open like this remember then you have to come to somewhere here you see then to bring out manage account then you click on manage account on manage account you will see something like like this but all these ones that are here will not be will not be included like the downside there will be only one broker which is which is go which this last one here this last one here which is a meta trade 500 demo <coughs> so don't use this then you click on this plus then this plus you say see where they write found broker then you click on it and you write your broker's name let me say ota fs then to bring ota fs out then you click on ota fs then to bring something like this out for you you say re or demo account because you are looking for server server is the name of your broker then you click on this place you see we say ota fs re ota fs demo if you have an if you have uh if it's demo account you wants to log in you click on demo so when you click on demo it will bring it bring it out then remember where you open your account from you open your account on uh otafs uh dot com then on india you open also open a uh, meta trade 4 or meta trade 5 account which they give they send you the login code and the password code so when you get here you put the login number and the password code when you are done when you are done you press login like right now i've already logged in i have my uh, things then when you click login you click on chat it will bring out something like this on your chat so right now you're on chat then later <clears throat> if you want to add some pair if you want to add pair look at the pairs that i have this is the pair that i like trading these are the pairs I like trading. So on this place, you click on plus to add pair. Then you click on this. Let me search any pair. Let me say UK hundred. You see to come out then after this UK hundred comma. If I want to add it, I'll click on top of it. You see it has added. Then I will, I will go back. Then if I want to see where or uh, the pair is, you see I'm on quote. Look at the pairs UK hundred. Then if I want to delete, I will, when I get to quote, I will press this pen. You see, to bring out something delete uh, uh, symbol. Then I will click on it. Then I will click on the pairs that I want to delete. Like right now, I'm deleting UK. Um, UK uh, 100. Then, then I will click on the symbol again. You see, it has deleted. This is how you delete pairs. So these are my favorite pairs that I trade. The right now, let's go back to chat. Now we are in chat. So on chat, <clears throat> we have something like uh, something like uh, this symbol that you have at the right hand side. These two symbols. We have the one red and the is it blue or green. I don't know. Let me use blue, red and blue. So. Uh, on the first one here this very one this is for pending order if you click on it that means i'm going to buy buy limit or sell limit when you are under you are you are using buy limit you are under the market that, is, that is just that started buying right now you will be using buy limit when you're on the top you'll be using sell limit remember i would also do video on that so today <coughs> we are not talking much about a uh, buying and sell limit because i will use i will do that in the next in the next in the next video so that you guys won't get confused you understand a lot of things most of the time when you are learning forest trading there are a lot of things that you will not get to understand so on this place you won't use that we are, we are not i'm not going to teach or teach you guys how to use a uh, uh, buy limit and stop limit i will teach you guys on another video so when you want to place a trade like 
you want to use a market execution Ma on market execution you press this other second one you understand you see you see one click trade you when you click it it will bring out this sell at your left hand side buy at your right hand side so on this trade right now let me check the account that i am in because i don't want to trade okay this demo account <clears throat> okay right now i'm going to take a trade for you guys to see then if i, I want I, i'm on i want to i'm on us 30 you can see the pair and remember if you want to select the pairs also if you want to select the pair that you need you just click on where you have the us 30 or whatever pair you have there you see you click it will bring out the name of pairs that you have on your watch list so these are the one i have on my watch list then then let's say i want to take a trade i want to use my market execution you know before you take a trade you must do your analysis but today i'm only teaching you guys how to use metatrade file which is the sim uh is the most simplest uh, uh what is it called uh metatrader to use we have metatrade 4 then metatrade 5 then metatrade 5 is the upgrade of a uh, metatrade 4 so when you want to take a trade on this you just click on buy you understand not because i'm buying you have to buy like if you are buying you click on buy if you are selling you click on sell so let's say for example i click on buy let me reduce my lot size although it's a demo account so this is how you also reduce, reduce your your entry price your lot size look at it like i did before for in, in this place where you have this number in this place then you press it it will come out this way to show you number then let me see i want to use 0 0.02 lot size then i will just say 0 0.02 then i'm done you understand i'm done you look at it it's 0 0.02 then i will i'm buying like i said before i will click buy you see and remember guys when you buy there must be a line you see it's telling me that I buy. Look at it. It's telling me that I bought. And uh, if you look at it, you have a green line. That is your buy area. And from this place upward, if this green uh, market line crosses this your buy line, you start making money. Okay? You start making money. So like, like now we are under. We are under, so I'm losing. So before I go further, I want to remove this buy sell and the buy uh, symbol. I'll just come here on my right hand side here. I'll just click on it. You see, that, that get disappeared. So why did I remove that? Also always remember to remove it because most of the time if you don't remove it, you might be like confused or you might be doing something you might mistakenly uh, press uh, press it. And the end of the day, uh, you will it will enter market you understand you start buying or selling you know, depend on what you press because it has happened to me so right now i'm on a trade on us 30 as you can see look at my trade i bought i bought or i buy with a 0 0.02 loss size what does that mean i'm buying now i buy with a 0 0.2 cent you understand 0 0.2 cent so if I want to see my trade that I'm currently in right now and I want to know how much I'm losing, I will click on trade on the at the under you see. So when you click on trade, you see, look at the the number where I, I bought from the first one. You understand? You can see. Look at the number where I bought from. Look at where the market is currently. You see, I don't have my stop loss. If you look at the under, I don't have my stop loss, I don't have my take profit. So this is how you see the trade that you took. You understand? This is how you see the trade that you took. So for example, if I want to close this trade, I have two ways to close this trade. I have two ways. I will just slice it from my right hand side, from this side, from my right hand side to my left hand side. I will slice it, you see, to bring out this symbol. So what is it telling me? It's giving me a whole lot of things. The first one is to close the trade. The second one is to uh, modify the trade. The plus one is if you want to buy, you understand. Also, if you want to buy, you understand. I'm not buying now. Then 
the third the, the i mean the first one the second one the third one is for buying if you want to add the, another buying position why the fourth one is when you click on it, it will take you to chat click you're on chat took you here then go back to trade let me say i want to buy say buy sorry let me say i want to close i will rest i will write slice it to my left hand side from right i will write slice it to my left hand side then i will click on the first symbol that i'm saying so on the symbol you see it say close with lots or close with profit in most cases if you are in profit we say close with profit if you are in loss you say close with loss like i'm in loss now you understand so if i want to close i will just press this close button right here this button right here you see what i'm saying if i want to close i'll just press it and the the trade will close so i'm not closing because he want to teach you guys how to put stop loss and then take profit so let's go back so now we are on trade so let me teach you guys another way to close a trade you press on chat you see we are on chat right now like for example now here we are on chat remember uh on chat we are right now if you want to close this trade on chat you can also do it how, many, how are you going to do it you just click on the trend on the buy line that you have you click you see it will bring that bring this um uh, these uh, options out depend on the one you want to apply for like let me say uh, close i'll click on close you see it will take me here you say close with profit uh if you are only lost you say close with loss so i'm not closing and say before you see you click on it you see to bring it up let's say for example also remember there's also two ways whereby you can also uh put in your uh your stop loss and take profit right now let me say i want to put a stop loss which is ssl i'll click sl you see to bring it out this is the easiest so my stop my stop loss now on this trade where would i put it because if i put it right here it's too close if i put it right here which is better but if i'm losing i will lose a lot because look at where the market is um it's right now so and you remember it's us 30 us 30 has a lot of the uh, uh let's say capacity of on the market you understand it's one of the biggest uh market we have one of the biggest pair we have on forest market don't play with it so let's say for example if i don't want to lose too much this trade i'll just put it right under this place you understand oh I'll just put it right here okay yes then when i'm done i'll click on this direction button this blue one i'll click it will bring me here it will bring me here let's say for example i i, I took my take profit uh, number i would uh, click here then i put my take profit number but i didn't take it but we'll do that then i'll click on modify you see i'll modify right now look at it sl look at my sl my stop loss is there right now that's how you place your stop loss on meta it's very it's very easy it's very easy it's very easy. It's very easy remember when you want to place your stop loss always look for the analysis that we do we did because you place stop loss based on your analysis because that's where you get your stop loss from also on this trade right now if i want to put a better stop loss i think it will better be on the on this under the structure right here like let me shift this uh red button i don't know why it's not okay okay so right here mm -hmm. that's where oh i'll just okay wait let me add to it so that we can see okay uh -huh. I'll, I'll put it under this structure or just leave it here but it's better here that's where it's, it's, i would love to put stop loss but i'm just using that to teach you because i already placed my stop loss at the top so let's i want to add my take profit so i will come here also the same thing i will click on top the the buying line you can use it as sell or buy then I'll click on tp tp then I'll position my TP on where I want it to be. Like right now, I can I will just zoom in so that everything will clear out. Let me say I'll put it on top of this line here. Then after placing on where I want to put my stop loss, then I will click on direction button. Click. Then I will click on modify. Modify. And this is just just an example. You see, 
so we have our uh, stop loss then our take profit is at the top as you can see you see right there you see Let's take profit which is here our take profit is here you can see you can also click on it to to modify it but i'm not modifying it i'm just using it to teach you guys so this is how you place it look at it now so what is, what is this market telling us now this market is telling us that if this market go against me for example if this market go against me like as it is right now if it comes down to my stop loss if he if this two line the red line hit my stop loss the red line this one the current market it will take me out of the market what if i'm a, I'm a profit if the blue line hits my take profit line it will take me out of the market with 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 a uh, take with profit then we stop loss if we, the red line will hit my stop loss line it will take me out of the market with loss so there is another way you can also fix your stop loss and take profit which how is it how do you, does that work you click on trade and the trade you are currently in will come out then you you write split you write slide from your right hand side you slide it to your left hand side pretty simple like this then you click on this pen you have here the second uh, symbol you click to bring it out then remember like i said those number that i normally say where you put your stop loss and your take profit then the stop loss will be at your left hand side which you have red then the green side is your take profit then you put the number right there right now this trade i took i have already placed my stop loss and my take profit that is why you have these two numbers here so when you are done you come to that side where you have modify you click on modify then it will automatically place your stop loss you understand that is how you do it so guys this is for this uh, uh teaching stage right now so i will teach you guys other things that you need to know about meta trade uh, meta trade uh, five so uh i think this one we do for now so guys we'll see you guys in the next one now right right now if i want to close this uh i want to close this trade now i'll just right right slice it like i said before the first symbol then close you see done I close with profit then if you want to know where you your profit go it will go to your balance which is that you have here but if you want to know how much you actually made on that trade you come to history on history you will see something like this, this is the money that i made last week on this uh, demo account you click on date you click on today today is 11 11 september 2023 you click on it look at it you say profit is 0.78 cent you see look at the trade that i took and many other things so now we are done so guys see you guys in the next one and remember always watch this video support me leave a comment subscribe to my youtube channel and many other okay because more videos are coming